On your way to Changtang Wildlife Sanctuary in Leh, the local guide will tell you about Puga and Chumatang regions of eastern Ladakh, which are rich in geothermal energy. That's the region where the Oil and Natural Gas Corporation of India is setting up the country's first geothermal power project. While the Ladakh region has the potential of generating geothermal power of 50 megawatts, India is still at a nascent stage of geothermal energy utilization. The Geological Survey of India estimates the country's tentative theoretical geothermal power potential at 10 gigawatts. So what is geothermal energy? Geothermal energy is an energy source that is stored in the form of heat beneath the Earth's surface. As we know, the deeper we go inside the Earth, the hotter it gets. It's called a geothermal gradient. The Earth's heat is generated at the core continuously by the decay of radioactive isotopes such as potassium, uranium and thorium. Water that seeps into the reservoirs deep below the Earth's surface is heated by the underground temperatures and returns to the surface as steam. The steam comes out through the boundaries of tectonic plates and fissures as hot water springs. One of the common ways to tap into this geothermal energy is by using steam to turn large turbines which run electric generators. These reservoirs of hot water or geothermal resources exist in seismically active areas or are man-made deep inside the Earth's surface. Wells ranging from a few feet to more than 100 feet deep can be drilled into underground reservoirs to tap steam and hot water. It is then brought to the surface for use in a variety of applications, including power generation, heating and cooling systems, greenhouse, horticulture and more. So how is it renewable? That's because Earth's core is a perpetual source of heat energy. However, temperature of a geothermal reservoir in use or its water levels may diminish over time. In case of the latter, surface water can be re-injected to maintain pressure and heated for repeat use. Unlike solar energy, which can't be produced at night, geothermal energy can be harnessed 24 by 7 around the year. Yet, geothermal energy has seen modest growth worldwide as compared to other renewable sources, especially wind or solar. This is due to its site-specific nature, the uncertainty involved with resource exploration and high upfront cost. An exception is Iceland, which relies on geothermal sources for 66% of its total energy needs. India is home to rich sources of geothermal energy discovered in Ladakh, Kambay in Gujarat, Tatapani in Chhattisgarh, Khamam in Telangana and Ratnagiri in Maharashtra and more. ONGCs move to map the geothermal reservoirs across the country and harness them can be instrumental in achieving India's net zero targets by 2070. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.